Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can apply internal CSS in HTML code. Before starting, you can note my Android app whose name is TechImage. You can find my videos and study tutorials inside this app. So as in my video related to inline CSS, I have explained that there are three types of CSS available. First is inline, second one is internal and third one is external. So I have already explained about inline CSS in my another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be uh, talking about internal CSS. So there is a drawback of inline CSS that it can be applied on a particular tag. Suppose if we are using h1 tag two times in our HTML code and if I applied inline CSS on one tag then uh, that cannot be automatically applied on another tag but this can be done with the help of internal CSS. So in case of internal CSS you have to design this style tag inside head and inside style tag you can apply properties or styles of a particular tag like in this code body tag is containing background color light gray h1 is containing color blue and p is containing color green so if i use h1 five times in the uh, following code then all h1 headings will be displayed in blue color if i use p paragraph 10 times then all paragraph will be displayed in green color that cannot be done in inline css so that's why internal CSS is beneficial if you want to apply a single style on multiple tags. So now I am moving to the example. First I am uh, going to uh, inline CSS example. So you can see that in this example h1 tag is containing style color blue. So this style will not be applied on this h1 tag. It will uh, uh, display the content as uh, its natural styles. So if I want to apply same style of h1 tag on another h1 tag then I can prefer internal CSS. So you can see that inside style tag I have applied CSS for body h1 and p then inside body h1 tag is used and p tag is used. Now I am saving this code. Name of this file is internal.html. So this file is saved in my HTML folder. So now I am double clicking on this file. So you can see that background color is gray. Heading is in blue color and paragraph is in green color. Now if I apply h1 tag again and text is this is second heading I am saving it moving on to browser I am refresh uh, I am doing refresh it so you can see that another heading is also displaying in blue color so this is the power of internal CSS now coming on to the example of inline CSS if I save this code and if I open first.html, you can see that first heading inline CSS is displayed in blue color but second heading is uh, uh, displaying in black color. This is because of inline CSS. So inline CSS is uh, applicable only for a single tag whereas internal CSS is common for all the tags. If you use a tag more than one time then that CSS will be applied automatically on all the tags. Now if you want to apply more than one styles using uh, this internal CSS so you can do it by separating uh, more than two styles using semicolon. So here h1 tag is containing blue color and text, ali text align is center. So this h1 style will be automatically applied on both the headings. So now I am saving this code with control plus s moving to browser. 
So I have opened internal.html. I am clicking on refresh. So you can see the effect. Both the headings have been shifted in center because I have uh, changed its uh, CSS color blue and text align center. So with the help of internal CSS, you can apply single style on multiple tags. So it, it can save your time or efforts. So you can apply this code in your laptop or desktop so that you will be able to understand how uh, you can implement internal CSS in your HTML code. These are my information. You can use these information for your studies. Thank you for watching this video.